Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Unless you are new, then hi, welcome to my channel. So today is one of two videos that I'm gonna be doing for the end of year little roundup. Somehow we're on our final days of 2020, thank goodness. And it's time to look through every single thing I've watched this year. So this video will be all the TV shows that I watched this year and the video I'm uploading tomorrow. I know you're getting two videos, two days in a row. I'm spoiling you. <laughs> and tomorrow's video is going to be all the films I've watched throughout the year as well. So all of these things are things that are completely new to me. So no rewatches, like I've rewatched Gossip Girl, I've rewatched Gilmore Girls and things like that. They're not going to be in this because I've seen them before. But if you want to know in depth any of the things that I'm talking about in this, please go watch my monthly reviews monthly recaps of things that I watch. So I tell you all the films and all the TVs I watch and give you kind of like a brief summary of what it is without spoiling anything. But this is just going to be me ranking the TV shows that I've watched this year into the tier list that I've made. It's gonna be interesting. So on the screen here, you should be able to see my tier list that I've made. So at the very top, we have the best of the best. This is where I'm gonna put my favorite TV shows that I watched this year, like the best of the best, hence the title of it. And then under that, we're gonna have great TV. This is just TV that I really enjoyed, but it's not the most amazing thing I've watched, but it's also not bad or even close to bad. It's just good TV to watch. Then we have eh, which is TV shows that I felt not much emotion to. They were kind of just Eh? We then have So Bad It's Good. I felt like I needed to put this one in here because there's so many things this year that I watched that were so bad, yet so good at the same time. And the final one is just bad. Don't even bother watching it. <laughs> in 2020, I watched 61 TV shows. I don't want to even know how many hours that is, but I know it's a lot. So the first one we have here is The Haunting of Bly Manor. Now this came out in October. It was a great bit of TV. I'm just gonna shove it right in there. Great bit of TV. The Haunting of Bly Manor wasn't as good as The Haunting of Hill House. We then have The Stranger, which I watched at the beginning of the year. Can I remember it all that well? No, but was it all right? Yeah. So I'm just gonna put The Stranger in. Eh? We then have 13 Reasons Why season four, I think it was the final season that came out this year. It was so depressing. <laughs> See, the first half of the season four, I would put in eh, but the second half of it, just bad. Actually, for the ending, for what they did to one of the best characters and one of the only good characters, I'm gonna put it in just bad. <laughs> Next up we have The Act. Now this is something I watched recently and I really liked it. So I'm gonna put that in great TV because it simply was just a great bit of TV and Joey King, she was incredible. Like she was so, so good. The next one is a little bit weird and not very like me, but I watched it. So it's here. All or Nothing, Tottenham Hotspur. <laughs> I don't wanna talk about it but I really enjoyed it, okay? <laughs> Next we have Awake, which was a game show of a bunch of people just trying to stay awake. I think I'm gonna have to go with... Eh. Now, Below Deck. I haven't spoken about this yet on my channel because I am currently watching this now. It took me so long to finally understand the hype of this, but I love Below Deck. And it's not so bad, it's good, which most reality TV goes into. I'm gonna put it there for now. Next we have On My Block season three. On My Block is 100% so bad it's good. It's definitely made for people younger than me. In general, it's not that great, but I get really like pulled into it. Now, Bojack Horseman, that is going straight up to the best of the best. I hadn't watched Bojack Horseman before, but it's my boyfriend's favorite TV show ever. And I don't like cartoons. Yes, I don't like cartoons, they scare me. I've never liked them. I don't like them because of The Simpsons. They freak me out. I gave Bojack Horseman a go because it's always so hyped about and I absolutely loved it. So let's move on to Sabrina. This is part three, I wanna say, or four. It's the one before the last one, which comes out probably the day you're watching this. So I'll probably watch that today. <laughs> now Sabrina for me is just very much an Eh. and I don't think it should be cancelled at all. I wish it wasn't cancelled because I do think it's quite good. I think I'm gonna have to put this season as air. Eh. 
it just wasn't the same as the first few seasons, if I'm honest. Making the Cut, I also haven't spoken about this because I've only recently watched it. It came out on Amazon Prime and it is uh, Tim Gunn, make it work. Thought it was interesting, thought it was good, but it's just an eh because it was fine. Next up we have Dash and Lily. Just gonna go there. It was sweet. It was very fan fiction-y is the only way I can like describe it. Just not really for me. Next up we have the Imagineering story. This was one of the first things I watched this year and the best things I watched this year. I loved the Imagineering story. It's on Disney Plus if you haven't watched it and you like Disney, please go watch it. I am just gonna move Below Deck down um, to great TV. The more I'm looking at it, the more I'm like, mm, it doesn't, it doesn't need to go there. <laughs> now we've got Emily in Paris. Everyone's gonna hate me for this, but it's just gonna go there. I can see why people loved this, but for me, it just, there was something about it where it was just bad. <laughs> Next up we have Euphoria. I've been wanting to watch it since it came out, but this year was the year I finally got to watch it. Not even going to question where it's going, it's going to the top. This was one of my favorite things I watched this year by far. Next we have The Floor is Lava. Again, this was just something that I put on as background noise. You know what? I'm just going to put that there. I'm also going to move that there because they're not good. <laughs> they really are just something to put on, but they're not good. Next up we have Fuller House, the final season. I've watched every single episode and season of Full House and Fuller House. It was eh. That's where I'm gonna put it. Next we have The Good Place, which was the final season. So many things finished this year or a one away from finishing, which is actually really quite upsetting. The Good Place is going into great TV, like 100%. I absolutely love The Good Place. It did go on for far too long, don't get me wrong, which is why it's not in the best of the best because otherwise it would be. I really like the ending. I personally loved the ending of this show. I thought it was done perfectly. Next we have Grand Army. I'm also gonna put this in good TV, well, great TV as well because it's definitely, definitely not an uh. It is a little bit heavier, but it was really good. High School Musical, the musical, the series. So this was on Disney Plus and I decided to watch it and I'm just gonna put it here in the so bad it's good. I really really liked it. Next we have Hollywood. I'm gonna put this in a great bit of TV because again this was something I really really enjoyed. I thought it was really interesting. I thought the acting was done really well. Julie and the Phantom. This is gonna go in so bad it's good as well because it isn't that great. However, I enjoyed it a lot, so therefore it's going in the so bad it's good, because even though it's a little bit cheesy and it wasn't really for my age group, I really liked it. <laughs> Next we have Looking for Alaska, which is one of my favourite books. I mean, I haven't read a book for like five years, but I still say it's one of my favourite books because it was one of my favourite books. I'm gonna put this in air. Just not as good as the book. Didn't live up to my expectation. Next we have Love is Blind. Once again, going in the so bad it's good where most reality TV belongs. <laughs> Such a good idea, but it was just so bad at the same time. Like it's just people falling in love without seeing each other. Great bit of trash TV, which I absolutely love. Lucifer, the newest seasons. This is gonna go into just bad. I love this show. I really, really love this show. I really enjoy it. But this season, I just, I hate when they have twins. You know, when they're all of a sudden there's just a twin and it's played by the same actor, I just hate it. Next we have The Morning Show, which was again, a great bit of TV. If you haven't watched The Morning Show, please do. It is on slightly darker side again. So if you're not in that headspace, please don't watch it. But if you can, do, because it's Steve Carell, it's Jennifer Aniston, it's Reese Witherspoon. Perfect bit of TV, absolutely loved it. Never Have I Ever is also going into the great TV category of things because this I thoroughly enjoyed. There was something about it, it just got it right. New Girl, I know New Girl is kind of old, but for me, I have only ever seen like the odd episode just on TV. This was the first time I sat down and watched it all and it's going up to the top because I fully loved this. It made me feel so happy because obviously we haven't had the greatest year in the world and everything's been a little bit down and depressing. So this was the perfect 
the perfect feel-good thing to watch. We have next in fashion, which is Tan France and Alexa Chung. Um, exactly the same, really, as Making the Cut, so I'm just gonna put it in the same place. However, this was better than Making the Cut. Normal People. Now, this was... Oh, was this great TV or the best of the best? I think I'm gonna put it in great TV. I just really like Normal People. It was chilled, it was relaxed, it felt like a real story, even though it's clearly very much not. It was really, really good. So it's going into great TV. I'm not okay with this. Also being put in great TV, this was one of my favorite things this year that I watched. They've canceled it. I'm so upset about that because I loved it and I really wanted a second season because they left it on a cliffhanger but they canceled it, which really, really sucks. I also watched Parks and Recreation. I'm also gonna put that in to great TV. I know there's gonna be quite a few things here, but there's been some good TV this year, but it was great. Leslie and Ove is great. Everyone in this is great. We then have The Politician, the second season, which again, oh, you know what? It's going up there. I absolutely love it. There's something fresh about it, there's something new about it. I don't know what it is, but it just feels like I've never watched anything like it. If you haven't watched The Politician, please do. It's slept on, in my opinion. It's so, so good. The Queen's Gambit, also going into the best of the best. This is a recent watch everyone seems to be getting into at the moment, but The Queen's Gambit was an amazing bit of TV. It was something that I would never normally press on. I would probably see it and be like, why would I wanna watch something about chess and carry on scrolling? But I'm so glad I watched it. I thought it was amazingly dumb. Next, we've got Ratchet. I'm gonna put that into great TV because again, it was a great bit of TV. Next, we have Rue Paul season. 12, I think it was. The, the newest season, basically. Just gonna shove that straight into great TV because RuPaul is always great TV and I will hear nothing else about it. <laughs> Shit's Creek is going into the best of the best. Now, if you've been watching me for a little bit, you will know that I was very like, I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I can carry on with it. I was very, very unsure with how I felt about Shit's Creek. I ended up just falling in love with it. I thought it was written amazing. Amazingly. Next we have Selling Sunset, which is obviously gonna go into one place and one place only, and that is so bad it's good because it really is the trash reality star TV show, and I love it. It was so clearly scripted and so clearly not real, but it's great TV. <laughs> we have Sex Education season two. I'm putting that in the best of the best for one reason and one reason only, and that is the bus scene. If you've seen it, you will know what I mean, but that itself deserves to be right at the top because it's incredible. <sighs> Next we've got Space Force. Now, I love Steve Carell. I think he's amazing. I adore him but it was just bad. I saw people say it was bad and I was like, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt because I really wanna watch it. I wanna know what Steve Carell's done because I love everything he does. Not this. <laughs> we then have a Spinning Out, which was like the first thing I watched this year. It's going into great TV. I really, really liked it. However, they canceled it. Why do Netflix keep canceling some of the best things? Ink Master. Now, this is, I don't really know where to put Ink Master because I've watched so, much of it. I think I'm gonna put in so bad it's good, but it's not even like bad just because it's a reality TV show. I just think it makes it easier to put there. Next we have Taskmaster, which honestly I'm gonna put at the top there. I know it's quite a weird one, quite a bit of a curveball. This is something I have absolutely adored this year. So me and my boyfriend have been watching this. We've got one season left of it now. We're trying to make the most of it and spread it out as long as possible because it's our like comfort thing to go to. It's really great. The presenters are great. The comedians that they get on it are always great. Next up we have Tiger King, which was right at the start of the first lockdown down, everyone was obsessed with this, and now I'm going to upset you all by putting it there. <laughs> I see why everyone really, really, really liked it, but for me it was just like, ah, uh, yeah, it was alright, it was interesting, but I wouldn't have ever thought it was gonna go as big as it did. Ah, <sighs> we've only got a few more now, so we've got Tiny Pretty Things, which is something I've literally just finished, and There was so much potential there for it to be really, really good, but it just wasn't. So it's going to be there and it's going to stay there. Oh dear, too hot to handle, too hot to handle. So bad it's good, obviously. Too hot to handle was way worse than Love is Blind in my opinion. Like it was 
way more cheesy. I hated the ending. Oh my god, I just remember the ending. Next we've got trinkets, which I'm gonna put in great TV. It was one of my favorite things I've watched this year. I thought it was great and I think it deserves more of a hype because I've seen no one ever speak about it, but trinkets is great. Next we've got the Umbrella Academy season two. This is the second season. I am gonna put that there. Again, another controversial <laughs> decision by me. There's something missing for me and I can't work out what it is. This was definitely better than the first season in my opinion. I wasn't the biggest fan of the first season. The second season though was a lot better, but it's still not amazing. I'm so sorry everyone's gonna yell at me. The final TV show and that is Upload and I am putting that in great TV because once again that was something I really really enjoyed watching this year. But yeah, that seems to be my list. I believe I can leave the link to it down below so if you want to do it yourself you can do. Send it to me on Twitter or on Instagram. I would love to see where you would put all these things if you did watch them. So yeah, that was my tier list of TV shows in 2020. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to do something like this and I couldn't work out the best way of doing this kind of video without it being like three hours long. So I thought this was the best way so let me know if you enjoyed this by giving it a thumbs up and also hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out the film version of this coming out tomorrow. Thank you so so much for watching this. If you don't watch my one tomorrow then have a beautiful new year and hopefully 2021 will be better for every single person that's watching this because I think we all deserve a bit of a break. <laughs> but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you again very soon.